again, this is Kim Jolly, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator from Springfield, Missouri. In January of this year, when the Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog came out, the set I was the most excited about was probably Waterfront. I saw so many possibilities, and if you follow my blog or are in, the, are in any of the Facebook groups I'm in, you'll know that I have used this set a lot. The cards I got the most reaction from probably were these Skyline cards I did. And I've been promising for quite some time to do a how-to video. So when Split Coast Stampers asked me to do a video for May, I thought this would be the perfect time to do this. These are just a few examples. I'm using different shades of ink. These are all on watercolor paper. Today we will be doing this particular background. Um, for this, the base layer you're going to need a four and a quarter by five and three eighths piece of watercolor paper, preferably about 140 pounds. That seems to work the best. It seems to give an overall smoother appearance. Um, Stampin' Up! does have a great white watercolor paper, but any good quality watercolor paper of at least 140 pounds will work for this. Now, there are quite a few repetitive steps in this. So I'm going to speed this up during parts of this video so you don't have to just watch me do the same stamping over and over. I will be using a piece of scrap paper to stamp off on before I stamp on to my paper um, because you don't want full strength with some of the colors we're going to be using. The first color we're going to be using is Daffodil Delight. Then we will move on to Melon Mambo. I'm sorry, Calypso Coral. Then Melon Mambo, um, at the very end we use Crushed Curry just a little bit. And for the buildings we will be using Tuxedo Black Memento Ink. So the first thing I normally do is decide where I want my horizon line to be and I just take an ordinary pencil and draw a line across it. Doesn't have to be fancy. Now I'm going to be softening these stamped images with water. Um, I'm just using an ordinary watercolor brush with uh, my, I've got my little jar of water off here to the side. So for this, for the first part of this, I'm just going to be using this one image. So again, we're going to start with Daffodil Delight. You can tell this is well used. I'm going to start with Daffodil Delight. Now with this one, I don't stamp off. Um, I just kind of give it a little bit of color in the middle, soften it a little with the water brush or the brush with water. I dry mine in between colors. Now I'm going to speed this up just a bit using the other colors, uh, and I think you'll get the idea. Decide which is going to be the top part of your card and which is going to be the bottom. I think 
I'm going to do this. I want the little darker shade up here. I'm going to take my crushed curry and I'm going to get my sun in here. Oh, stamp off for this one. Okay, you can kind of barely see it down there. For this next portion, I'm going to use a little piece of washi tape, a couple of pieces, to secure that, secure the base layer. I'm going to use a piece of scratch paper and put it roughly along that line, which as you can see, I did not draw very straight. Thank God stamping is not an exact science. I would never make it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this long stamp, this image. We basically are just using these three images for this. I'm going to take the long stamp and ink it up with the tuxedo black. What I'm wanting to do here is get in uh, the base of the buildings. I don't want it that wide though, so I'm going to be stamping partially on this paper and partially on the mask or scrap paper I have. Okay, let's get this side in. Maybe need just a little more up there. Okay, now I'm going to take just a little bit of water, my watercolor brush, move that ink around a little, dry it just a little. Okay, now comes the fun part. We're going to put the buildings in. Now I have used both ends of this for the buildings. Again, this is not an exact science. This is more of an abstract look than it is realistic buildings, so just give yourself a little bit of creative license on this. and Just enjoy the process. I'm going to be stamping full strength on here and then stamping off because we want there to look like there's some shadowy buildings back behind. I am going to be doing just some repetitive stamping here, so I'm going to speed this up just a bit. And if you have any questions, you can put it below the video. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. For a beginning, I'm going to just soften a few of these. When I add water, they tend to look a little darker. That way you've got a little more definition between those and kind of the shadowy look behind. I use my heat tool to dry it. Okay, now we're going to do the reflection. So I'm basically going to turn this around. OK, 
Okay, now, actually, you will use this end, the clean side. You can see a little bit better where those buildings are already. Now, when I did this, I did not get too hung up about perfect placement of the buildings because these are just shadowy buildings. What I did do is stamp off twice on my scrap paper. So I'm just going to go in here, put in the shadowy buildings or the reflection. Again, this does not have to be perfect. I think I'm comfortable with that. what I've done to my paper here. Okay. Put those inks up. Put that up. I am going to just barely touch this with a little bit of water. Dry it one more time. I absolutely love, love, love the look of the cityscapes. I'm really attracted to anything abstract, but especially cityscapes. Okay, the next thing I do is I take my clear Wink of Stella, which just puts kind of a clear, almost silvery shimmer, and I just go over each building giving it just a little bit of sheen. If you can see that or not, but it's all sparkly and pretty. Now, that actually does seem to dampen that just slightly, so before I use the white gel pen, which is the next step, I'm gonna make sure it's dry. Okay, so this is just an ordinary white gel pen. Um, I think this is a Jelly Roll pen. What I'm after here is I want there to be the suggestion of windows. You don't have to worry about this being perfect. You're just putting lines in, just little haphazard lines. And we'll do this on the top part and in the reflection. Just a few down here. They don't really show that much, but the eye kind of picks them up. Then the next thing I do is I take this and I just kind of scribble, I guess is the best word. Just kind of go along here. Now to finish this off, all I do, or all I have done for this card, is I have cut two of these Congrats die cuts from the Sunshine Wishes dies from Stampin' Up. I've applied a little bit of glue to glue them together. And then I have taken the Wink of Stella pen and went over that word. and gives It gives it quite a great shimmer, actually. And then I just apply it wherever you want really, but I like it right along uh, the division of the 
between the buildings. And then I've mounted on basic black cardstock and I do have a piece of whisper white cardstock on the inside for the sentiment. With graduations coming up, I think this looks like a card that's full of promise and hope for tomorrow and would let a graduate know that you're really proud of them. I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial. Please, again, if you have any questions, put it um, in the comment section below or shoot me a quick email. Thank you, Split Coat Stampers. I really appreciate the opportunity to make this video. Thank you.